there is not a lot of groundwater in this area uh, as a result of that fact. People get their water from surface sources and that is exactly where guinea worm is transmitted. What happened around this area is that in the early 80s, because there was no groundwater, the Catholic Church and the Dutch government created what are called dams up here. All they are is large reservoirs for rainwater. In the rainy season, they go to a low point around a community, uh, take some heavy equipment, build embankments, and then create a drainage area into that, uh, that section. And those reservoirs, in, a, in effect, turned into guinea worm magnets. Uh, they, the people had no other source for water. Today we are at Experimental um, School here in Savalugu Town. And the JSS uh, students from one through three are drawing some dam posters that we're going to put at the dam. And these posters are actually depicting some preventative messages about guinea worm. Um, since uh, this was actually and still is a very endemic um, place for guinea worm. So we want to draw these posters and have them posted at the dam. Perhaps maybe rotate them every two weeks to help the school children who go to the dam to see these messages about guinea worm and maybe um, stay off the dam and filter the water at the dam maybe report some guinea worm cases if they find any. Um, just some, some, some pictures to remind them about guinea worm and what they're supposed to do and not do um, with guinea worm. So let's see what we got. You have to find every single case and you have to stop it. That's why there's only been one disease that has ever been eradicated, and that's smallpox. Uh, and that's why uh, there's the struggle is on to eradicate polio, which has been stuck at 1,000 to 2,000 cases for the last you know, six or seven years. Kunumbala <laughs> You are free, you are free, you are free. No, the question. Okay, okay, not so bad. Well, I am quite optimistic that with the various interventions that we have put in place, we are making a headway. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome.